10 U.S. sailors captured by Iran as Revolutionary Guard releases them after snooping row, including one female who was forced to wear a headscarf. Sailors who were detained by Iran in Persian Gulf have now been released. They were moving between Kuwait and Bahrain when they were captured. Vessels drifted into Iranian waters after suffering mechanical issues. Reports suggest the crew and boats were taken onto Farsi Island. It is believed that the U.S. apologized and the sailors were set free. A picture of the captives showed them looking relaxed while sat on carpet. The female sailor with the group was given a makeshift headscarf. These are the 10 American sailors who were captured by Iran after being accused of snooping when their boats drifted into Iranian waters, but they have now been freed. The country's Revolutionary Guards confirmed in a statement on state television that they had been released just a day after they were detained. The Pentagon lost contact with two small riverine vessels in the Persian Gulf on Tuesday afternoon when they were seized by the Islamic Republic's Coast Guard, just hours before President Obama made his last State of the Union address. Wearing combat fatigues and no shoes, the sailors were pictured sitting on a carpet inside a bare room. A female sailor can be seen wearing a makeshift veil she was given by the captors to cover her head. Iranian intelligence agents are believed to have interrogated the unit four hours following the standoff that unfolded just days before the controversial nuclear agreement is set to go into force. Republican presidential candidates were quick to jump on what happened, with frontrunner Donald Trump saying it's an indication of where the hell we're going. The sailors were under detention by Iran after they were taken to a base on the island of Farsi, an area shut off to the public because of the Iranian government's clandestine activities. The nine men and one woman are seen without shoes sitting down in a room looking bored with some of them appearing to be asleep. The group were captured after one of the boats reportedly suffered mechanical issues and drifted into Iranian waters. But their release came after Iranian state media said the U.S. apologized for unintentionally drifting into occupied territory. Our technical investigations showed the two U.S. Navy boats entered Iranian territorial waters inadvertently, the IRGC said in a statement carried by state television. They were released in international waters after they apologized, it added. The Navy have said they will be investigating what happened in a bid to determine why they were in that area of the Persian Gulf. U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter has welcomed the sailors' release. In a statement Wednesday, he thanked U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry for his diplomatic engagement on the issue. Carter also said, around the world, the U.S. Navy routinely provides assistance to foreign sailors in distress and we appreciate the timely way in which this situation was resolved. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.